Good evening. Today, I am going to present for you a tomato tart. It's a very easy recipe that goes great with a salad, as a main dish, or as an appetizer for a much larger meal. So to make the tart, you'll need either phyllo dough or a pie crust, mustard, and I recommend a strong mustard because it will lose a lot of flavor during baking. So I prefer to use a mixture of Dijon and grain mustard. I find this mixture to be very agreeable. You'll need, of course, tomatoes, two onions, a little goose fat, and the seasoning. Now, for the seasoning, I use Herbe de Provence, which is a mixture of marjoram, rosemary, thyme, and sage. Now, it's totally according to your taste. Uh, rosemary and thyme are the best for this recipe. I'm going to start with... Un petit peu a little de goose fat that I'll put in the bottom of my poêle. pan. Next, the onion. Alors, so I've already cheated a little as I've prepared all the vegetables in another pan. Mais je voulais que vous vous rendiez compte just want you to know du moment où vous pouvez faire votre tarte avec ce qui a déjà été for the tart. Donc deux oignons so, que vous allez mincer. Donc deux oignons, qui vont mincer. And a little bit that is not good. So, onions make you cry, of course. But honestly, the thinner they are, the better. Now, vous as the fat is beginning to graisse, simmer, we'll add the onions les deux oignons, vous allez and some of the tomatoes, que vous allez couper which we'll cut into thin morceaux, pieces, small chunks. And be sure to take out the core. And add a little salt and pepper. And now we'll let this simmer on the stove. During this time, your crust, which will press into the pan, And cut off the overlapping paper. Now we'll poke it a little. And 
And now we'll spread the mustard on the bottom. Now it's better to have a spatula to spread the mustard, but you can also use the back of a wooden spoon. Now, it should cover the bottom of the crust as evenly as possible. Now, I'm going to add the tomatoes that have already cooked. Voilà. Now I cook part of the tomatoes beforehand so that the tart stays tender and moist. Some people find that the tart easily becomes too dry while it's baking. Now as you can see, it's really just to cover the bottom. On the top, we're going to put grated cheese. Any mild soft cheese will work. Now, I've used about a cup and a half of cheese. And to finish, I'll cut my fresh tomatoes, cut them into nice round slices. And we'll take out the seeds. Et vous mettez and we'll put them and me bien que les I like to overlap my tomatoes parce qu'en rétrécissant un petit peu à la cuisson now vous be sure to cover the entire top And now, be sure to take out the core, because it's not very edible. Now, the tomatoes were washed beforehand, of course.
and now a little bit. And one last one. And now, if you have the option, ripe tomatoes are the best. Because it's really ripe tomatoes cook better. The very red are the best. Now, Maintenant, a little thyme, thyme which we'll dessus. sprinkle on top. And if Et you si have any, avez, some rosemary. Un petit peu de voilà. Voilà. Now we'll bake this for 30 minutes at about 325, checking regularly. Well, you need to verify the time of your tart. You could have riper tomatoes. Oven could be different. So I recommend that you check regularly. So open the oven. If it's not ready, let it cook a little longer. Now you can see that this paper slides off really easily. So we have a perfect presentation of your tart. And voila! I wish you bon appétit. Au revoir.